Any game object in the hierarchy will have at least a transformation component and these parameters we see above. In particular, this checkbox allows us to enable and disable game objects in the scene. When a game object is disabled, notice that here it's shown in a mute tone, Unity is going to ignore this game object, as if it didn't exist. Any component assigned to it is going to stop doing its job. For example, if the game object is a camera, when it's disabled, the camera stops rendering. If it's a light, when it's disabled, the lights stop illuminating. And if the game object has assigned a script that we ourselves create, when it's disabled, Unity is going to ignore this script, and it's not going to perform the function we programmed for it. Let's see how to activate and deactivate game objects through a script. This is the game object that we are going to activate and deactivate, and this other game object will have the script that will perform that function. Let's start by creating a new script. Right click, create, C sharp script. I already created it here. I gave it a meaningful name of the action it will perform, activate and deactivate. To assign the script to a game object, we can use here the add component button and search for it by name, or simply drag and drop it in the inspector. In the script, we will define a public reference for a game object and give it any name. In my case, I gave it this long name. Save the script. By defining this reference as public, it will appear here in Inspector, and we will be able to manually assign the reference we want. In our case, it was this one, target game object. So now, this object is stored in this variable. Now, these two are the instructions that are gonna deactivate and activate the object respectively. Notice that what I do is to use the name that I have defined, the dot operator, and the set active function, passing false as parameter if you want to deactivate it, or true if you want to activate it. Now it's time to see when to activate the object and when to deactivate it. In this particular case, what I'm doing is to deactivate the object if you press the A key, and activate it if you press the D key, but that's something that's gonna depend on what you wanna do. For example, we could make appear a certain number of enemies when the player reaches a certain region. In that case, we will have to place a collider somewhere, and when the player enters it, execute these instructions with the game objects of the enemies. I enter the play mode and press the A key and the D key, and here we see that the object is deactivate and activate. Notice the box here, how it is checked and unchecked. So with this we already have the system working. Here in this field we can assign any game object, for example if we want to activate and deactivate a light object, we drag this light here. And when you play the game and press the keys, the object is activated and deactivated. That's all I wanted to show you, hope you find it useful and see you next time.